Hey guys, welcome to the 49th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the uh, index of method and the trim methods, and there's a few of them. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. And once you have that on your form, just double click on it. So, in the last tutorial, we looked at isolating the first and the last names of the stringer right here, John Smith. Well, say we want to get um, the first and last names of a whole like group of clients. Well, not everyone's name is four characters long, like in the beginning, and their last name obviously all isn't five characters long. So we need to find a better method of getting the first and the last name. Well, to do that, we can use the index of method. So just like before, we're going to use the uh, substring method first off, but First, we're going to do first name here. Set it equal to a substring of this this full name right here. Well, for the in start index, we're just going to set it to zero because we're just trying to get John. And then the length. Well, instead of putting just four right here, we can use the index of method to find the index of this space. So we know we want it to stop reading as soon as it finds a space. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the meth or the uh, index of this space, and since the index of this space is four, it will just read one or zero, one, two, three, four. But and since this is a space, it will stop at it. So we're going to use the index of method. We're just going to do name dot index of, and then inside of here it just calls for a character value. So we're just going to put in a character, and we want it to be the space character, and then. Uh, it'll get the index of uh, the space right here, and then which is four, so it'll read um, one, two, three, four. Oops. All right, so now we we'll get this first name. So let's just display this in a message box to make sure that it actually gets uh, the first name, and then let's just test this out. Yep, it got John. And we can use this to get um, Smith as well. We can use the index of the space and put it um, uh, at the beginning. So it'll start at the uh, index of the space and then read to the end. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this code right here and paste it right into there. And then we don't need um, a second parameter because it'll just read to the end of the string. So now we debug. Well, this will actually be the last name, but I'm not going to change it. And should just get Smith. Yep. But as you can see right there, there's a space at the beginning. And that's because the index of returns the um, index before it. So it would return the index of right here and not right there. So in order to solve this, we can just add one. So it'll begin reading here instead of there. So now when we debug, we should just get Smith and no space Smith. Yep, and there's no space at the beginning, even though it's kind of hard to tell. And the other methods that I'm going to be showing you how to use is the trim methods. And these are very useful, like, and basically what it will do is it will just remove all of the spaces. So, or all the spaces at the beginning and the end. So if we have a bunch of spaces at the beginning right here, and we want it to just still read John Smith and not space, 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 space John Smith, well, we can use these, uh, the trim method to do that. So, what we're going to do right here is we're just going to call it um, it's just raw name, because it'll just get the uh, actual name. So we're just going to do name dot and then trim. And the trim, just the regular one, will remove all the spaces from the beginning and the end. So if we have a whole bunch of spaces right here, then it will just remove all of these spaces and we'll only have John Smith and not a whole bunch of spaces, John Smith, and then a whole bunch of spaces. So now we're just going to display this um, raw name in the message box. We should just get John Smith and not a whole bunch of spaces and then John Smith. Yep. And if I were to show you just the original name without um, using that trim method, you'll see there's a whole bunch of spaces. Yeah, there's spaces there and spaces after it. You can also use trim start if you only want to trim the start up here. So if you don't want to trim the spaces off the end, then show raw 
name. So now we will get um, uh, John Smith and then a whole bunch of spaces. And you really won't be able to tell that the spaces are there, but they are. And then you can use trim end to just trim spaces off the end. So now we'll get a whole bunch of spaces and then John Smith and you should be able to tell. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of spaces right there. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll continue on looking at more methods in the string class. So, see you guys.